Hi, um, what we have here is um, a home-based nanoelectric hydroelectric generator. And what we did was to take the kinetic energy from the flow of water inside the house and uh, convert it into electrical energy since you know water flows every day no matter what. So we just uh, we just took that energy flow and converted it into electrical without affecting the flow I mean, more than 10%. So that's like overall of the of the project that we made. Okay. It's not working right now. Well, when we were setting up this morning, our box came unglued in, in a rather forceful manner. I think it's, the only thing that's holding the shaft in place right now is this bearing, and I think it tweaked the bearing or something because it's, it's binding on the shaft. Right. It's not giving it the free motion we had, uh, like on, on Friday when we were We had final test on Friday. It's we had to put it underneath, and I guess the pressure from the table, you know, we were trying to line it correctly, and, you know, the box came off, and... Yeah, so I think it bent the shaft right here a little bit and then on the... That's why it's not working. I mean, it turns, but it, it's not continuously turning. And now water is flowing a little bit from here because yeah, it came out. It's escaping from the seal. Yeah, so... So you have a propeller in there? One, yeah, one turbine, one? yeah, turbine. Uh, uh, did you design that yourself or did you buy it, purchase The turbine we purchased. Yeah. Turbine. Mm -hmm. Well, originally, I mean, like, there are some, you know, turbines out there that are, like, already very well designed for you know, water movement. Oh, yeah, there's some expensive one, Yeah, they are very expensive. So we ended up buying, you know, a smaller version, like uh, for a computer fan, actually. So still, I mean, it gives it the same amount of airflow. So, I mean, for the, you know. Flow. Right. Mm -hmm. so. uh, what type of elevation, how do you create the elevation that, you know, the uh, hydroelectric uses essentially to, you know, well, what we did just like using the system of the, the, the water that's flowing to the house under pressure from the water from the mud HUD system or the mud system where we get the water supply from the water flowing through there. That's what's creating the pressure. Is that what you're asking? Well, yes, I mean, like in the hydro, what you have right. is kind of like a reservoir of water, and it's kind of like the, the flow is the water yeah. flow by gravitation. Yeah. In this one, it's from the pumping station that feeds the house. You, you have a pressure and a flow coming into the house already. So what we did is just calculate how much energy we're going to lose or actually flow water. And then decrease the size of piping here and then make it the, the length that we need to go down together with gravity so it can go back at, this, at the original. Well, not exactly the original flow, but you know, around like 5 to 8% uh, loss in, in the flow, which is not noticeable for a person when you take a shower and you open your, you know, wash your hands. It's not noticeable. That's a, so this would be placed on the water pipe leading to the house. Exactly. Well, actually, I mean, this is just like a some kind of like a prototype, you know, that's showing that you can do it. Okay. I'll just give an example. Already lost my one percent of No, no, no. Less than eight percent. It would be like twenty dollars from it, and over here is like it, because it's not, you know, it's not. It was twenty dollars, and you get. Uh, 18.8 and 19.2. So how much you're storing up? Oh, how much you need? Let's say. Well, we have to generate a little battery. So. Yeah, in terms of power. Yeah, in terms of power.